Hi there, welcome to the channel. I thought we'll uh, we'll have a look at all the um, all the Castlevania games for the original Game Boy. So uh, let's start with what I think is the first one in the series. Yeah, it would be the first one in the series. Uh, Castlevania Adventure. So uh, let's uh, let's have a quick look. <laughs> I love the sound. Already feels very similar to the NES one. I guess I guess it it would have been based on on the kind of NES one. Uh, so yeah, we'll have a quick look at these, then we'll go through uh, through the next game. But yeah, it looks looks good. Oh, like I've got a little power up, a little fireball at the end of my at the end of my whip. Uh, but yeah, this 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 would have been this would have been a lot of fun when it came out. Has got that, that sluggish movement from the old, you know, Castlevanias, the the old style ones. Oh, what is that thing there? <laughs> ah, amazing. Okay, go climb the rope. Oh, look at that! I've done the eyeball. I've got a sub weapon? No, I haven't. Not yet. Oh, I have now. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, come on. Yes. Ah. Shall we? Uh, shall we try the sub weapon? Okay. Oh, I thought that cross was a sub weapon. Not so much. Well, Castlevania have come such a long way from this. I really, really hope a new Metroidvania Castlevania comes out, especially, especially given the success of uh, you know the recent Netflix Castlevania. If you've um, if you've not seen that, hey, yeah, here, watch it. It's it's very, very good. Especially if you've been uh, if you've been playing the games, it's it's nice to see some of. Uh, some of the enemies that you've you know battled over the years in the different games make an appearance there. Uh, my favourite was the, the the first boss from Symphony of Night, the little two demon thing, the the winged the winged one that carries the other one. Uh, that was that was really cool to see. Oh, why am I after every candle? Okay, that was a bit of energy. Ah, oh, that, that was just cheap. Okay, we'll do a few more seconds of this, uh, and then we shall move on to the next one. Okay, let's just go. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Let's go. Let's see what the next screen looks like. Oh, I didn't get done by the eyeball. Okay, can't attack while on a rope. Okay, I've got loads of money though. I've got like fifteen thirty money. I'm the, I'm the richest Belmont out here. Uh, but all right, that's enough for this one. We'll, uh, we'll move on to the next. So this was the first one. Okay, so here we are. Looking at the the second Castlevania game for the for the original Game Boy. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Let's do this. I think I did actually play this briefly. Oh, okay. We're picking where we're going then. Vague, vaguely remember this. D didn't play much of it. Oh, that's just weird. Going from from right to left. That that just goes against everything I know. Okay. Okay. So just that a little bit, of, a little bit of water holding me back. Okay. This is the, I'm going with the flow this time. Okay. Ah, got a crow. I think this crow's gonna kill me. Are right, you go, crow? Take that. Okay. Already feels a lot more difficult than uh, than the original one. Okay. So we got the rope. Okay, is that a sub weapon? We'll try it uh, when we go up. Okay. Yeah, we have a sub weapon. I've got a fireball at the end of, at the end of the whip. Oh, I didn't notice that bad. Mm -hmm. Still, just like the original one, feels sluggish. But you know what? 
it, it's, it's got its charm. Feels like a feels like a good game. Fuck like, yeah, kill him just with the fireballs. Oh, I see that holy water down there, but we'll, we'll, we'll stick with the axe. I've always like the the weapons that fire an arc or nearly didn't make that jump. We have to remember to be a bit more patient. Okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad game. Feels a bit empty-ish though. And kind of starts off straight with a platforming. I do like uh, I do like the fireball and the whip. The fact that I don't have to get too close to some of the some of the slower enemies. You know, apart from if I see that crow, because you know that crow is just gonna fly in me. Ah! Oh, I thought it was gonna fall down there. Oh no, they're gonna pop up. Okay, let's try and make it. Okay, good, good. I, I like this. I have to say, but this this does feel. Um, at least with what the enemies look like so far, an improvement over the first one. Um, I'm not really a hardcore flare player of these uh, these type of Castlevania, so you know if anyone out there does play these games, let me know whether this or the first one was better. From looking at it, I would say this was an improvement, but you know I could be wrong. Maybe the first one was better. I, I already tried little bits of it. But yeah, it does does look good. Oh, and the eyeballs are here. Ah, the cheap eyeballs that like to fall from above. Okay, that, that would have been a better route. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I think that's enough of that one. That was number two. Um, so yeah. Let's, uh, let's finish this off. Okay, we're doing uh, the third game in the series uh, so this one is Castlevania Legends at 1997 I think Kid Dracula came out before this it might have been 1993 but we'll do that one last uh, as as that is a spin-off so we'll stick with like what are considered the, the true Castlevania games and uh, then we'll move off to the spin-off that came out oh standard light modes you know what let's, let's try a light mode because as you, know, as, as you probably know by watching my channel, I'm not wanna, I'm not very good at games. I do like playing them, and that shouldn't put you off. Okay, you know what? I don't even want to read this. Can I skip it? Yes, I can. Thank you. Okay, so they've gone, they've gone for like slimmer characters now. Some, some newer graphics. So this, this would have been an upgrade. This is the evolution of how. Oh well, listen to the sound. <laughs> Amazing! I think this will make a good good ringtone for my phone. Ah oh, man, these bats are I really don't like them bats. Okay, maybe maybe just the beginning part is a ringtone. Well, those those bats can't feel kind of cheap. They're just they're just flying straight into me. Hard to get up. Oh, what are those things there? Okay, okay, that's that's nice. I thought I thought my whip wasn't even going to reach him when I ducked down. Okay, I see how they're trying here. Uh, I don't know if this was the best game. You know, if, if you're someone that's played all three of these. Please let me know in the comments what you think is the best game. Um, so far, actually, let's see. What, what do I get here? What the? Oh, okay. What, what, what is that? Is that <laughs> some kind of ghost? They're gonna keep coming. Okay. At least they're not like the bats and just flying straight from my head. I love I love the dot matrix graphics. They're just so cool. And I think this is this is why the Game Boy was so popular. It just won. Okay, so this one you can attack on a ladder. Got a nice bit of meat there. Oh oh wow, that was a bit of a robbery. <laughs> so I had to climb down the rope. If I just 
fell down, I, I fell to my death. Uh, yeah, sorry, as I was saying, the reason the Game Boy kind of won um, that handheld war around the time beat the kind of Lynx and uh, the Game Gear simply because it, it didn't have a light and, you know, it it had um, it had like these dot matrix graphics. So, you know, you had your four AA batteries and uh, they lasted a long time, whereas if I remember correctly in... in, uh, in, in um, in the game gear, in the links, you had to put like six or eight batteries, and um, they just didn't last that long. So, even though this this was technically the least powerful, and and you know not the not the best looking, it, it was it was more practical. So it, it won it. Plus, everyone just really really liked Tetris. Remember, there was a, the old lady. She was like in a, in her fifties. Uh, when, when this came out, I was I was a young teenager then, and she had a Game Boy, and uh, she played Tetris so much that she actually told me there was a disease called Tetrisitis, and I was like, "What's that?" And she said, "When she goes to sleep, all she sees is Tetris." So she played so much Tetris when she actually closed her eyes, all she could see was uh, was Tetris. So uh, you know, anyway, respect to her for being um, you know a gamer in her fifties and in. in, in in the 1990s but um i think we'll wrap it up for this we'll have a look at uh, kid dracula next uh, so yeah this one this one looks good as well let me know what you think so uh let's have a look at the castlevania spin-off kid dracula for the original game boy <laughs> now you know what i knew nothing of this game up until i think castlevania it castlevania chronicles for the for the nintendo switch the little um little compilation that came out um, and I was like okay this is a this is based on the Castlevania so I tried it out a fun little platformer not I, I doubt it's something that I'll play now but uh, I'm sure it would have been a lot of fun you know when I, when I was younger uh, but yeah interesting interesting and cool spin-off oh, so yeah this this is uh, the, the fourth and last game uh, on the original Game Boy that are related to Castlevania. Oh, imagine, imagine if they actually made, like, if a Metroidvania Castlevania was made. I wasn't reading that. <laughs> I'll have to work out how to turn it to the bat. But imagine if they made a Metroidvania Castlevania for, for like, the original Game Boy. That, that really would have been ahead of its time. Uh, that, that would have been, that would have been amazing, simply put. Okay, so you forgot all your spells. Should be that difficult to work out at a turn into a bat let's let's skip this anyway have a look at a bit of gameplay oh, I can fire up ah okay okay so select that select button does something Okay, can I charge? Oh, I can charge as well. Okay, Mega Man style. Charge up that uh, fireball. We'll just we'll, we'll walk along like that, glowing. And when something comes, we'll try and... There you go, eat my fireball, huh? My very own Hadouken. I like how his face is at the bottom. <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Get out of here. Oh, nice little dodge there. Ah, okay. Not so nice over there. Okay, I wonder if you can... Oh, that's so cool. Look at that animation. <laughs> I've learned to suck your blood. Oh, man. I have to say, graphics are amazing for this. Ah, come on. Okay, so what am I? One more hit. <laughs> As usual, keeping up the low standard. Okay. <laughs> at least there's better jumps than a normal Castlevania. You can actually navigate while in the air. Ah, <laughs> alright, so that was a look at that, and that was life over, but yeah, hope uh, you did enjoy this uh, video, uh, if you did, then uh, a subscription, a like, um, a share is appreciated, comment below uh, if you want to say anything, uh, until next time, uh, PCN out.